first up, what is Blues Fest? Um, it's just basically a five-day festival that's held at Byron Bay over the Easter long weekend every year. It's been happening since about 1990. And um, yeah, it uh, just attracts a lot of overseas artists, usually. This year, um, it, it really only had a handful. However, uh, yeah, it's just um, a fantastic event. Easter Sunday was a great day. Uh, first on the bill for us was a band called The Buckleys. Absolutely fantastic. Loved them. They're a young band. Um, yeah, they just returned from Nashville actually and are also playing at the Tamworth Country Festival. Loved them. Check them out. I wanted to mention the VIP area that was uh, paid for separately was a, a huge room where you were able to have access to excellent toilets which is great uh, instead of those port awful ones as well they had a better selection of um, drinks uh, although the downside to that was that on the nights where it was super crowded like Good Friday it took too long to get a drink so that was a real negative like we're talking 50 minutes um, and it was also probably too crowded for my liking the VIP area was pretty good during the day when there weren't many people in there so you had like lots of nice lounges and beautiful fern trees and it, it was a nice place to sort of chill and, and socialize with people and what else the stalls were great they had some fantastic clothing stalls the food was excellent if you could get to it um, depending on what day you were there and what hour you were there the lines were pretty long with uh, the food and beverages so that was probably the negative uh, to this sort of festival however you know there were times when you could you know go and get a feed uh, what else I guess the crowds um, yeah look it was really crowded it just depended on what time you were there uh, obviously when the big bands that sort of were the, were the uh, headliners uh, when they were playing it got super crowded and yeah don't know it's not really for me all the time okay i'm sitting here at the vip bar it's um it's pretty good it's a lot better than friday friday was too crowded as you can see it's uh pretty laid back Everyone's just kicking back, listening to the music. Loving it. 10 out of 10 today. John Stevens also performed at the Blues Fest. He was fantastic. He played a lot of Noiseworks tunes as well as a fantastic rendition of the In Excess song, Never Tear Us Apart. This is one of the greatest songs I've ever written in my humble opinion. I'm always very honored, very privileged to sing the songs like In Excess. I've been a part of them for so and a half years. Everybody raise your hands. Raise your hands. 
sing with me. Don't ask me what you know is true. I don't tell you. I love you, precious heart. just a uh, really powerful and emotional rendition. It's fantastic. He was awesome. Sing this one with me. Reach out. Easter Sunday evening was probably the biggest night for me. Uh, first up was Ian Moss. Now, Mossy is just a complete and utter professional. I've seen him quite a few times and he's always entertaining. He was fantastic. Yeah, he was probably one of the highlights for me. Now there were a few challenges and setbacks, I think, um, yeah, a few people had to kind of get their cars, um, you know, sort of uh, taken out of the mud when, because it, they were bogged. Uh, as well, the glamping tents may have needed to have been replaced. There were flash floods two weeks ago. Um, lots of challenges for Peter Noble, the um, managing director of Blues Fest, who, um, yeah, just kept going, you know. He, he was determined to put it in place again, and honestly, it's been such a fantastic event. You know the time I just give out. We cannot just keep mad. The Teskey Brothers, wow, um, I had only heard them on my Spotify, seen them on YouTube a few times, I'd never seen them live before, 
What an experience, absolutely phenomenal. They really had the crowd in the palm of their hand and I just felt it was a, a complete connection with the audience. Uh, it, it almost felt religious, the way they were connecting with the audience. It was um, superb. Really love the Teskey Brothers. Check them out. to make mention in this video that there were quite a few performers that I didn't get to see um, through lack of time, energy or just clashing with other performers. Uh, it was very, very um, not exhausting but it did take a lot out of you if you wanted to kind of run to each tent and catch every you know performer that you wanted to see. So I just wanted to, a shout out to all the performers that are not on this vlog who were at the Blues Fest, who put in just an amazing performance from all accounts. I have watched some videos of the other artists that were there and wow, what a show. So overall, 10 out of 10, Blues Fest 2022. Really looking forward to what 2023 is gonna be like um, and the type of artists that um, may be um, able to come to Australia now with all the restrictions that are finally, you know, lifted. So yeah, 10 out of 10, Blues Fest 2022. Uh, Could You Be Loved was a song that I was uh, listening to and bopping along to as I walked back to the car. Um, fantastic, it was very joyful, very upbeat and just a great ending to a great festival.